As you all know, 2020 did not really turn out the way most of us expected. This year brought with it unfulfilled dreams and troubled times for many people. But I guess for me, it turned out to be a year of learnings. A chance to slow down from the fast-paced life that we were going through. I remember waking up every morning dreading the mad rush to get to work in the very famous and stressful Bangalore traffic. Although these days I wake up trying to figure out how I can juggle between regular household chores and my office work, the travel time that I'm saving I find extremely valuable to me. So I guess that's a plus point to 2020. This year also helped me regain and nurture lost friendships. Ironically, the virtual world turned very innovative and I reconnected with many people whom I'd lost touch with because of our previously busy lives. Although our work days are still as hectic, I try to cook something special over the weekends. Today I'm cooking a Kerala style dinner and I'm going to show you the recipe for this chicken mappas curry that pairs really well with appams. I honestly imagined that 2020 was going to be my year. I had planned to travel extensively this year. <laughs> but that clearly still remains a dream today. And I guess that's the case with most of you. had a bunch of goals and plans written down for this year that we were to accomplish. But with all the quarantine orders and restrictions confining us to our homes, we seemed like we were heading nowhere towards them. And with the lack of pay hikes and the pay cuts that many people took this year, those affected my financial goals too. In short, the year 2020 was really making it harder for me to like it. Who knew that a pandemic would change our normal lives as we once knew it? I for sure didn't. I know I can't really change what the year has been so far. But Jesus once said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. And I do not give as the world gives. So do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. These words stuck around in my head. And I decided to rearrange my goals for 2020. The year 2020 is meant to deepen relationships with the valuable people that God has already graciously put into my life.
2020 is also a year to surrender all of my plans unto the Lord because He always sees beyond what we can see. Twenty twenty is a year of regaining health and strength. Twenty twenty is also a year of slowing down and finding joy in the smallest of things. Twenty twenty is a year of building good habits that I didn't find the time for earlier. Twenty twenty is a year that has given me back something that I had been longing for a while now time to spend it with my family and friends. Twenty twenty is a year of investing in myself and learning new skills. Twenty twenty is a year that has been beyond my control. But it is also a year that has taught me that sometimes God doesn't just calm the storm for us. Instead, He walks with us through the storm, showing us that we are strong. 2020 The Word of God says, Be not conformed to the things of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. 2020 is an opportunity to set our hearts and minds on the things above rather than the things of this world. 2020 is still not over yet. So have you realigned your goals? Psalm 46 and verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Twenty twenty is a reminder to be still and find the peace that comes from God alone. Putting together a meal that we can enjoy over the weekend in the comfort of our own home has taught me to accept what I can't change and invest in the smaller things that really matter in the present. And of course, trusting always that the God of peace would carry us through the harder parts of life. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you do try out this recipe, please let me know how it turns out. And if you too feel like 2020 is not your year, I hope this video is a reminder that it's not over yet. <laughs>